Hello guys, welcome back to the Software Testing Tips and Tricks channel. Hope you all are doing great. So today we'll talk about the Jest Puppet here. So in this video, I will tell you what is Jest, uh, why we should use it, what are the benefits to using the Jest. I will create a sample project with the Jest and uh, run the Puppet Jest script for uh, one script. So watch the video till the end. So many people ask me like uh, if I have covered the framework in my videos, I have already covered for Mocha framework and now this is uh, for the chest. So first of all, why we should use the chest? So chest is like a very simple uh, to, uh, to configure the framework and also the one more reason to use chest is uh, developers use the chest to write their unit test. So if you are want to contribute in developers uh, a project only then you can uh, it is it will be very easy to write end to end test with the chest with the operator and just so that way it will benefit both like uh, developers as well as QA so we don't need extra project to create also developers can contribute in this uh, easily so that way uh, this is very useful so just is uh, supported in WebL, TypeScript or DF, Angular and Vue so if you have any, if you are using any of this, you can use the chest. So what are the benefits we get using the chest? So first benefit is like zero configuration. So configuration is very easy that I will show you. Uh, and uh, other benefit is snapshot. Like you can uh, track or large object with the ease using the snapshot or you can compare the snapshot and all. That is useful for uh, our testing. It is isolated, so if you are running multiple uh, tests in parallel, all the tests have their own processes. So it works, uh, it, uh, use uh, uh, each other's resources. So they run uh, uh, separately. So that way you can maximize the performance. Also, great API from it to expect. Like uh, those are the uh, it expect before all, after all, all these uh, are uh, supported in just and. Uh, also, it has good documentation. So if you go to documentation, you will find so many things. And it has community also, uh, and developers also are there. So we get the help quickly with syntax or errors we are uh, getting. Other benefits are like it is fast and safe. Like uh, it runs in uh, like uh, very fast. The computer is already fast. So if you are using the JS number, it will be super fast. And code coverage. So this is the most uh, one of the most important use case because like uh, many people ask me like how to measure code coverage while uh, running the puppeteer test because managers are more interested in coverage so just kidding yeah so to get the coverage uh, you can use the chest so with this dash dash coverage it will show the how much coverage you have so if you are using the uh, uh, apis that developer have developed in their test it will automatically Give the coverage, or if you are using their methods, so it will uh, give us the coverage. Otherwise, mostly this coverage is used for unit testing, uh, which is the uh, framework. Easy mocking, like mocking is very easy. We don't uh, want to do mocking when you are running end to end, but if in case sometimes it requires for logging or some other test cases, you can do it. And uh, we have great exceptions as well. Like to be to be close to to equal to three people, so, so many assertions you can get uh, here. It is called exceptions here. So uh, with using this, uh, uh, you can write more precise and stricter test case, and uh, it will help to get the bugs if there are any bugs. So these are the many advantages I am seeing, and uh, you can uh, read around in the documents. So we have just started documents uh, as well. So here is a starter and this is their get repo. So you can just clone it and play, start playing with it. So now we will see the, I will show you the creating one project and running the puppet here, test cases along with the chest. So before that, so please subscribe this channel and don't forget to share to your peer friend as well. So let's start with the project. So first of all, you need to install uh, this chest uh, and puppet here and just puppet here. So this is the command to install this. So if you have already uh, puppet here installed because uh, in my previous video if you have seen and uh, <laughs> practice then you must have the puppet here installed. So uh, you just need to install just and just puppet here but uh, better to install all three. 
so you can go to project and put this so i have already installed so it won't take much time for me so it will go to install now other thing i need to do is npm we need to get the packet dot json so i am just creating default packet dot json so now i need to change this test to test So now our packet dot JSON is ready. So what other thing is missing? We need to set the preset. So we need to create one JS dot config dot JS file. So here, like uh, in JS dot config dot JS file, uh, uh, you need to Uh, add this preset. So in this file, whatever the configuration related to JS will be there. So currently we are running just basic things. So we should have, we have only this preset. So we need to do is modules dot exports equal to and we can put this. Okay, I will let So now you have this. So now we need to add our first script. So I am just creating one test folder. And you can copy this. We don't need import now, I think. So in this test, uh, create one test dot this. I put this. So now our script is ready. So what it's doing is, it is just opening Google and uh, expecting this page to Google. So if you have noticed one thing, you don't need to oh, create that browser object and page object. By default, it comes with this. So when you install just puppet here, it already get installed and we can directly use this. So now I am running this. Not Sorry, npm test. So it started running and it got passed. So we got one test case and one got passed. So here these warnings are for headless uh, because Chrome has deprecated this old headless mode. So this is what you are getting. So what we are doing is what this uh, after this I will uh, explain what is this before I will it. So we have done that. Now if I want to run in helpful mode, what I can do is, uh, I can create one more file called, I can create here. So this will appear here, just puppet here. Yes, puppet here. Dot config dot yes. So here we can set all the information that puppet here is required. So all the settings that puppet here is required. So you can do this export. This one too. So first of all, launch method we will use to how we want to launch this. So in launch, I can write headless false. So it will run in headless false now. And uh, I can set browser content default. So it will just prompt. So now we can save this and we can try running this again. Oh, I didn't make any syntax error. So just it just open the Chrome. Now it will open this Google and like this. 
so this got run so this way here you can set the puppet here uh, uh, configuration is just configuration is not changed so now in test don't change you can run multiple test as well so here i can tell that uh, dot to equal or to be let's try to be it will fail because it is not to be but uh, let's try i am just putting multiple it so that you get the idea of multiple test I should have changed the description here, but let's uh, be important. I will create endless two now because it is uh, like uh, so. This will fail because it is not to be. So what is this uh, to be and all? I will create detailed video on this if required. So you guys please comment like if it is required or not, or you can just read the document. So to be will make exact uh, things like there are two errors, and uh, both have similar uh, similar uh, values. So if you do two equal, it will be equal. But if you do to be, it uh, yes both errors are different. Uh, it won't uh, be passed. So to be is like to verify like it is the same or not. So it verifies it is it should be same object. And equal it verifies like if it should be equal objects. So I have one MacBook Pro and you have one MacBook Pro. So both are equal, but both are not same, right? So that is what it is. So you can uh, uh, read about this. So this is how you can get uh, test your test in the list. Like if it is getting failed, it will show one fail one pass like this. So what describe does is describe is like. Uh, Uh, starting the suit and in this you can put all it so if you have before all so before all we have here is like uh, before all before you can have before as well just and after all as well so you can use this after all before all before after so what before all does is like once before uh, this execution start whatever you want to do before each test case it will do so it will open google.com uh, before each test case starts so this is what happens if you do before so before will do only once so it will only once open the google doc. so in after all it is it will be same once all the test get executed uh, it will uh, do the action you have to add it like so what you can do in after all is uh, you can uh, close the browser clear the context if some error is coming you can handle this and print it you can uh, add logs and some screenshot in your uh, uh, files and it cases so those things you can do afterwards so this is all you can do and how you can configure the jest so this was the very basic video so, and it was i want to keep it simple so you can start with it and uh, in the future i can create uh, one more video on like uh, how you can uh, configure jest without this desert or uh, there are other configuration ways which are little bit complex uh, and uh, if you want uh, please comment so if you have any doubt feel free to comment uh, please subscribe this channel and uh, share it to your peer friends and also don't forget to subscribe in social media uh, i share most of the software testing memes so it won't be this boring so thank you